After you have finished setting up your business, it's time to add an employee. Click on the second item in the checklist that says, add your employee. Fill out the details about your employee and click next. If you see a red star next to an item, you must fill this out as it is mandatory for STP. Next, enter their employment details. You can find further information about the fields you need to fill out by clicking on the question mark icon. Fill out the pay details. These details aren't mandatory, but if you fill them out, your pay runs will be pre-filled with these values. If you employ casual employees without set hours, you can add their standard hourly rate here and set their weekly work hours to zero or the number of hours they typically work. If the employee has multiple pay rates, you can enter these in their settings later. If you're adding an employee that is not paid consistently, you can leave this section blank. You need to select whether the employee will appear on the payroll and roster or roster only. Then, you can choose to invite your employee to fill out the rest of their details themselves like their tax and super information, or you can add them manually if you have their information. Start typing their address and select it from the list when it appears. You can also manually enter the address if it does not appear. Click Next. Fill out the tax details. If the employee doesn't have a tax file number yet, select No TFN and choose one of the options in the drop-down menu. Tick any of the boxes that apply to your employee. Click Next. You can choose from cash or bank for their payment method. Enter their bank details if you want to generate an ABA file to pay your employees. Set their super contribution rate. From here you can keep the box ticked to send your employee an email to fill out their super details, or you can untick the box and enter them yourself. If they are with a regulated super fund, search for their super fund and enter their member number. If they have a self-managed super fund, Fill out the super fund and payment details. Once you click complete, you have finished step two of the onboarding and added your first employee. You can add more employees by going to the people section and pressing the add new employee button.